Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. After you've entered text, edited text, or made any change to a document that you'd like to keep, you should save the document. Now when you save a document for the very first time, you have to use the Save As dialog box. You can access this dialog box by choosing File and Save As from the menu bar. Here you'll need to give Word a location to which the document will be saved, and you use the Save In drop-down to select the folder into which you'd like to save the file. Also at the bottom, in the File Name text box, you have to type in the name of the file as you'd like it to appear. Try and remember both parts. People often remember what they name files, but they will forget where they put them, or vice versa. So you have to know where it's going to be located and what it's going to be called. Now once you've named and saved the file, just click Save in the lower right hand corner, and you should see the name of the file appear in the title bar. Now when you make changes to it in the future, you do not have to use the Save As dialog box. In the future, after you've already given it a name and a location to where it should be saved, you can simply click the Save button in the standard toolbar, or choose File and just simply the Save command, and Word will automatically save the changes to the same place with the same name, overwriting the old document. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.